five years ago, former WWE wrestler Stacey Keebler and her man packed up and moved to Jackson, Wyoming to focus on raising their three kids. Around the same time, she put her sophisticated home in the Truesdale Estates neighborhood of Beverly Hills up on the market for over $18 million. With no takers, she more recently had to put it on the market again for a bit less and this time it sold. Not to mention, prior to this, Stacey lived in another nearby mansion built in a beautiful Georgian style. After checking out these two very different homes, you might have trouble choosing which is more impressive. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Stacey Keebler is best known as an actress, model, and of course, former professional pro wrestler in the WWE. These days, she and her husband Jared Pobre founded the Wyoming-based men's skincare line, Caldera and Labs, so she's constantly finding new streams of revenue, all while being a mom of three. At the time of this recording, Stacey has amassed a net worth of at least $25 million, and the success just keeps on coming. Considering this, it's no wonder she and her family lived in some beautiful Beverly Hills homes in the past. While one was built in a Georgian style and the other was far more modern, they both boasted jaw-dropping amenities like screening rooms, backyards built to entertain, and more. You guys will have to let me know which amenities at Stacey's homes were the best of all. It's so hard to choose. Welcome back everyone, I'm Care the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today looking at the homes of former WWE babe Stacey Keebler. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Back in 2014, Stacey and her husband splashed out $20.5 million for a brand spanking new Georgian estate in the flats of Beverly Hills. The abode featured nearly 14,000 square feet and boasted 8 bedrooms, 9 full baths, and 3 half bathrooms. This spot sported what can be best described as a classy 1930s vibe that included black and white marble checkerboard floors touched nicely with spiraling staircases and elegant chandeliers. I already know this is my kind of place. Upon entry to Stacey's former home, guests were greeted with a ballroom scaled living room that boasted a marble fireplace, herringbone pattern wood floor, oversized windows, and plush furnishings, along with details like a grand piano. The dining room had fresh white walls and custom fixtures, as well as a chic mahogany table with room for a dozen and a sumptuous rug. The walnut paneled library came with custom shelves, another fireplace, and a wet bar for any of your cocktail needs. The all white theme continued into the gourmet kitchen, which offered stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and two colossal islands with tons of storage space underneath. Additionally, the kitchen opened up to a breakfast nook and a cozy living room with TV. Here, the large flat screen television hovered over hand carved wooden cabinets, and there were French doors all around leading to the pool and patio. But more on that outdoor space in just a minute. Upstairs, the five family bedrooms in Stacy's former abode shared a den playroom, which had a sitting area, oversized windows, private balcony access, and a flat screen TV. Then the couple's master suite also had its own colossal sitting area, sleek furnishing, grand fireplace, and chandelier soaring above. But what takes the cake in this master retreat is the two book matched marble bathrooms and a boutique style dressing room decked out with glass fronted wardrobes. And just when you thought the Georgian mansion amenities were finished, Stacy's basement came with a gym featuring every workout machine, a screening room with comfy seating, as well as a wet bar and a gigantic walk-in wine cellar with sitting area. Moving back to the grounds of the home that we we got a peek at, there was even more to be excited about. The Beverly Hills estate had endless room to entertain and the grounds held a gorgeous pool, multiple lounging areas, a barbecue space, fire pit and more. There was even a pool house with a living room right by the water which also boasted its own cute kitchenette, bedroom and bathroom. I guess that's what Stacy and her husband had in mind when they spent over 20 million dollars for the place. In 2018, this impressive abode was sold to Gary Gilbert, movie producer and co-owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers for 20 $26.5 million. While Stacy may have lost a beautiful home, she and her husband gained a pretty penny in the process. Stacy and her husband sure have a knack for snagging luxurious Beverly Hills real estate, as you'll notice with their former digs, and this next one is no different. In 2012, Stacy and Jared acquired a completely different style of mansion for $11.1 million. This one's super modern, but no less impressive. About five years ago, when Stacy and her husband decided to move to Jackson, Wyoming, they tried to sell this mansion in the exclusive 
neighborhood of Truesdale Estates, Beverly Hills for the sky high price of $18.25 million. With no takers, it was relisted much more recently and this time, Stacy sold the massive single story home for just under $16 million. Maybe not as much as the couple was asking, but a win money wise no less. The chic city view home was built in 1963, but transformed by LA based architect James Schmidt in more recent years. He took the stylish and dated two bedroom residence and made it into a nearly 5,800 square foot modern estate with five ensuite beds and 6.5 baths. Inside, there were amazing panoramic views through the glass walls and windows from the rolling hills to Catalina Island. The light filled home featured sparkling white terrazzo floors in the living and dining room that were separated by a double sided fireplace in matching marble. There was even a walk in wet bar in Stacy's living room that was perfect for laid back entertaining. Her gourmet kitchen sported dark wood cabinets and marble counters that waterfalled off the ends of the massive island with a built in snack bar. I think we can all agree about how nice it would be to cook in an upscale kitchen kitchen like this one. Not to mention, there was also a bonus breakfast room with massive picture windows over the pool. As cute as this breakfast nook is, I think you would be hard pressed not to step outside and enjoy a meal out on the terrace. Then a nearby family room featured a fireplace and full glass panels that disappear into the walls to reveal an open air vibe. Stacy's former master retreat here had French oak floors, separate seating space, stone set fireplace, and a private patio overlooking those killer views of LA. Additional goodies included a large dressing room fitted with custom shelves for all of Stacy's wardrobe and ensuite bathroom with all of the upscale essentials including his or her sinks and a large soaking tub with you guessed it, more stunning views. If all of that's not enough, Stacy's bathroom had heated flooring too, so no cold trips after a shower. The other guest rooms here were almost as luxurious considering they all had custom ensuites too. Elsewhere in the home, there was a home office as well as a screening room with wet bar and retractable glass walls that lets you get to the pool quickly. The seamless transition between the indoor and outdoor spaces throughout the home really sells the California lifestyle, which I'm sure was a selling feature for Stacy and her man. Well, now the we got to see that spectacular interior, let's take a look at the outside. The backyard worthy of bragging came with more contemporary amenities like an infinity edged pool and spa, surrounded by a huge patio space for sunbathing or dining, and there was also a built in grill. This is also the pad that Stacy and Jared had rented to Cam Newton under the condition that he would not throw any parties. Newton dropped $123,000 for his two month stay, and let's just say things got a little out of hand. Housekeepers had reported that Newton did did in fact throw several shakers that caused the home significant damage. We're talking over 300k in damages. When all was said and done, the couple ended up filing a 270k lawsuit against Cam, including $90,000 worth of damages and $180,000 in lost rent and legal fees. Well, there's maybe one reason Stacy chose to sell this mega estate for a more peaceful family life in Wyoming. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a look at two of WWE superstar Stacy Keebler's former mansions in Beverly Hills. One had a more classic Georgian vibe, while the other was completely contemporary. After checking out both of them, which was more your style? I think we can see that Stacy has quite the impressive real estate portfolio either way. We can only imagine how gorgeous her family home in Wyoming is. While the first Georgian home was bigger and definitely more my style, the views at the modern place were undeniable. I mean, you really could see almost all of Los Angeles. If I had to choose though, I would be taking the Georgian style mansion, no doubt. What else could you need? How about you guys? Be sure to tell me what you preferred out of Stacy's homes and why in the comments down below. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye!